over this portrait that I started maybe halfway through last year. Start again. While I'm still learning landscape painting, I'm just using all the old canvases that I don't use anymore. It's a bit sad, but I think it's a good fresh start. I have been working on the biggest artwork of my career to date. I have literally been working on it probably for about seven or eight months. It is massive and it's also in color which is such a huge leap for me i usually only ever in the past have drawn in charcoal which is just black and white and then recently i have been painting in burnt umber so it has that sort of sepia aged look about it which i love apart from the last two artworks where i've done seascapes which is still in a way pretty monochromatic, so just blues, greens, blacks, whites, all that sort of thing. But this artwork that I've been working on for the past seven months is a portrait and I have attempted to capture skin tone, which is probably one of the hardest things any artist can really attempt is the figure and painting in skin tone because it's so so tricky and it can so easily look wrong and I think that's why I avoided it for so long is because I just didn't want to get it wrong. I didn't want the skin tone to look green or orange or washed out or sick or anything like that so I just kind of stuck to what I knew with the monochromatic works which I really enjoy anyway. I love the look of monochrome artworks and just simplicity in my work. Um, so it's not that I was avoiding a challenge, but I have been doing this artwork for a particular purpose and I'm going to release a video about it in the coming months. But I'm, yeah, honestly, I'm so excited about that, but I've just been really only working on that. And so I haven't really been doing any other artworks and I wanted to kind of finish that work before I created a video about it. So, um, yeah. I'm really excited to show you what I've been working on. In the meantime though, I a couple of months ago I did this seascape and I really enjoyed it actually. I really love these moody seascapes with storm clouds and it kind of makes you feel like you're lost at sea. I actually really love running and um, I used to live near a headland and this artwork really reminds me of that scene of just being almost lost at sea on the cliff edge running over the headland and because I was running I'd often look out and the, the seascape would be kind of blurred, it would have that look of being in motion and when I saw the reference image that I used for this artwork I was taken back to that feeling of going on those really long runs at dusk and having the landscape sort of blur before me and I really loved that feeling of being in motion and at the end of the day I just I really love it and it also makes me feel when I look at this work it makes me feel like I'm lost at sea and um, I love that feeling as well. The last two artworks have been so different from anything else I've been creating recently with my figure work so I wasn't really sure if I should post it just because it's so out there, but um, I really love these artworks, so I just thought I'd share them with you anyway. Throughout the process of creating these really big seascape paintings, I also did a few really small studies just to prepare myself for the real thing, and these are so helpful and they're so quick to complete compared to a huge artwork. Each small artwork only takes me about an hour, so it's really easy to get a feeling for what the big artwork is gonna be. If you are interested in purchasing this artwork, I'm not going to list it on my website, so just send me an email and I can answer any questions you have. If you're interested in learning how to draw, I have two online courses, how to draw a tiger masterpiece and the ultimate charcoal techniques course so make sure you check them out in the description of this video i hope you guys are having an amazing week i can't wait to pop back in with the latest artwork i've been working on so i will talk to you very soon